Folks, I'm here playing some Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but today we're going to be doing a bit of an investigation, okay? I'm going to be putting on my, my Sherlock Holmes hat, and we're going to be trying to solve a bit of a mystery, because there's been a clip that was going around on Twitter that I'm going to show you guys right here. So here's the clip right here. I saw this from Coach Steve, who I'll link his Twitch down in the description. Definitely worth giving him a follow. So here is the clip, okay? This is going to be Iron Man with war machine assist and the question is why did that do so much damage no one seems to understand why as coach steve put it he took 50 percent at 99 seconds which he literally did like look still 99 seconds on the clock and he's below 50 percent so why did that happen why did the assist do so much damage? It doesn't really seem like there's a lot of answers out there. I've seen some theories like, is the damage unscaled? Is the follow-up combo unscaled? I don't know. So we're going to be looking into it and we're going to be trying to find a definitive answer as to why this happened and why this did so much damage. And is this a good strategy that we can build a team around? So let's find out. So first of all, something I wanted to show you guys was some different assists that are kind of known for being damaging okay so i think first of all tron bon assist is very well known for being a damaging assist and as you can see it did quite a lot each hit did 15 damage for a total of 45 damage on cable and it's worth noting that different characters take different amounts of damage based on their stamina values so you can see sentinel only takes 11 per hit but we're going to be using cable as kind of a baseline because he's kind of like the default player two character in the game. So 45 damage for Trombon Assist. Pretty good. Pretty damaging. That's a lot. And by the way, if you guys don't know, you have 143 HP in this game. Every character has 140 HP. So 45 damage. What is that? Like a third? A little less than a third? So yeah, pretty good. But let's see how much does War Machine do? 47. Okay, one extra hit there. I believe it is only possible to get four hits out of this assist unless you're hitting a character with armor like Sentinel, but it can be really hard to get four. You can see like a lot of times you're just going to get three hits, only 36 damage, not really that much in the grand scheme of things. And I think like if you hit like really awkwardly, you can see you can only get two hits. So uh, yeah, War Machine is actually more damaging than Tron Bond, if you guys didn't know, but only if you get all the hits. But by the way, I know what some of you are probably saying. You're probably saying the damage scaling. It's about the damage scaling. Tron Bond doesn't scale the combo. But is that true? This is like a commonly repeated thing. I've heard this the entire time I've been playing this game is that Tron Bond Assist doesn't scale. Tron Bond Assist does unscaled damage. Sometimes people say Tron Bond Assist doesn't scale the follow-up combo. But is that true? I actually think that might not be true. I've been testing it. And watch. Okay, so we know Tron Bond does 15 damage per hit. But I'll show you here, it did 11 per hit because I did it mid-combo. The scaling applied to the assist. It scaled from 15 down to 11. So damage scaling clearly applies to this assist, right? And it scales the follow-up combo. Like you can see, if I do a normal launcher into air combo, that did 9 damage on the last hit. But if we start it with Trombon assist, it did 4 damage. So it seems to me like Trombon assist does get scaling applied to it and it does scale the follow-up combo so if i'm coming about this the wrong way somehow let me know down in the comments but as far as i can tell it seems kind of like a wives tale that trombon assist doesn't scale i don't know guys what do you think it's especially easy to test this against sentinel we can like scale this combo damage all the way down to max and then look, the trombon assist was only doing one damage per hit so like it's getting scaled guys i don't know by the way, War Machine Assist totally scales as well. Uh, you can see 9 damage per hit, 8 on the 4th hit. If we do a long combo first, get the scaling way down there, and then look, 1 damage per hit. So War Machine Assist, damage scaling applies to that as well. So if I'm just brain farting here and there's something huge that I'm missing, please let me know. But as far as I can tell... Tron Assist applies scaling like any other move. Is is this actually a myth? A wives tale? Or is there something I'm not understanding? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, because yeah, this is a thing that everybody says. Everybody says that Tron Bon Assist doesn't scale. But as far I, using my eyes, it looks like it scales just like any other attack. 
So I thought it might be fun to also test out some other assists and see, you know, is War Machine the most damaging assist? Are we able to beat 47 damage? So War Machine does a lot, but does Iron Man do a lot? 24! That's nothing, but that's only two hits. I bet we can work really hard to make this do more hits. See, there are three hits, and we got 36. Can we do even better? Maybe if we make Cable jump? Ooh, 47? Tied? It's really hard to get all those hits on that, but it looks like it's the same to me. It looks like Iron Man and War Machine both do 47 if you can hit with enough hits, but that is a pretty big if. But, you know, I'm sure, like, with the right team comp, you can probably figure out some way to, like, force them to take a bunch of hits from this. I don't know. So it might be, you know, something fun if you're thinking about building a new team. See if you can figure out some characters that sort of maybe let you set up a good Iron Man assist and do a ton of damage. So that's a pretty cool idea, but it looks like so far tied for most damaging. We got Iron Man at War Machine. Both do 47 against Cable if you can get four hits. What about my boy Zangief? He's got the, ooh, the throw assist. Why does that only do 20? Zangief, you weakling. Okay, what about our boy Colossus? That's a damaging assist, right? 25? 20, listen, it, it, it's a lot, but it's not, it's no 47. Not even close, man. What about Captain Commando? Legendary, strong anti-air assist, only 22. So clearly it seems like the multi-hit assists are contributing a lot more, at least when they're at the start of the combo and unscaled. So maybe that has something to do with this notion that the assists are unscaled is because your first few hits at the start of the combo, there's no scaling, right? So like her standing heavy punch does 16 and it will still do 16 even if it's the third hit of the combo. So maybe that's why people say that Tron assist doesn't scale is because it's only three hits. So scaling hasn't kicked in yet. Whereas if we do like five hits, you can see it starts to scale at that point. The first few hits of the combo are always unscaled. So maybe that's why people say that. But yeah, I don't believe that these multi-hit assists actually have any kind of glitch happening for them. I think it's just the intended mechanics of the game. But enough about that. I got one more character that I want to test here. And that of course is Juggernaut, okay? Juggernaut punch, 28 damage pretty good it's more than captain commando but i think we can do even better okay we gotta glitch my man up okay we gotta glitch him up power up glitch tag him out now how much 42 even with the power up glitch juggernaut still does less than tron Bon and iron man and war machine okay i was also wondering maybe earthquake assist you can see earthquake four hits 19 damage not that much. The, the the individual hits are not doing very much at all. But if we power him up, maybe? Let's test it. 29. It is, it is quite a bit. 29 is not anything to sneeze at. But, man, it's nowhere near Iron Man and Tron Bond. So, guys, I don't really have time to test every single assist from every single character in the game. But if you guys have like a suggestion, like what character you think might do even more than 47, if you think it's possible to break that that cap of 47, uh, post it down in the comments and I'll test a bunch of them and I'll, I'll post how much damage it does if you don't have the game or if you're too lazy just to test it yourself. I can do that and find out for you guys just in case there's anything you think might be more damaging than the ones we've seen so far that you want me to try out. But guys, to cap off this video, I think we have to recreate. We have to recreate what we saw in that video and just make sure that it's real and make sure maybe their copy of the game was bugged or something. No, we gotta try it for ourselves. Okay, so I've studied the tapes. I'm pretty sure the way that we do this is crouching light kick, crouching heavy kick, plus the assist here. And that's 67 damage. So uh, as we discussed, your life bar is 143. So that's nearly 50% for two attacks plus an assist. So that's very real. So let's see if we can get the infinite off this. And let's see, there's eight reps. I, From watching the tape, it looks like eight reps and then you end it with the super. Yep, 143, we got it, boys. Okay, so yeah, it's real. It's real. That's actually a really good setup because we got the kill off round start without having to DHC. 
So that means that we should be able to set up the guard break on the incoming character. Pretty freaking sweet, man. Now I was also curious, do you think we can do this with Tron Bond Assist as well? Is this gonna set up like a nice clean kill for us? We might have to do some like thing with like sandwiching them with the assist, but it should be possible, right? Let's go! Hey, that killed too, okay? It was a little bit of a janky setup, you know, doing the, the whole, like, sandwich plus <laughs> air dash down forward up heavy kick. This is not the most practical setup, but I don't have good enough execution to do, like, the really hard stuff where you set them up off a launcher and that kind of thing. But yeah, guys, this was a pretty fun video. I hope you enjoyed uh, learning a little bit more of the weird little things that are hidden within this game. And uh, again, if you guys have suggestions for other assists to try out and see how much damage they do, or if you have theories as to why these so-called unscaled assists like Trombon actually do seem to be scaling just fine in combos, let me know that as well. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that this can inspire some of you to figure out some fun little team combos, because I think that stuff like this, you know, is, is actually some of the coolest stuff in the game. Like, who would have thought that simply by, you know, using this assist in a specific way, you can deal such a massive amount of damage right at the start of the round. So I love little ideas like that. And if you guys have other ones that you'd like me to test out, let me know down in the comments. Hit the like button if you like the video. Subscribe if you're not already. It helps me out quite a bit. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.